Talk in the Woods. What is going on, folks? I am your host, Truman Hudson III, and today I'm sitting down with... Penelope Thomas. Wow, we hit our hands Sorry. together. Wow, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. So, Penelope, please tell me about who you are, what you do, and uh, um, why you're here today. I'm Penelope. I'm 16, and I just... I'm a high school student. I like writing music. All right, so you performed at Slam in the Woods at Arts Academy in the Woods mm -hmm. this past Thursday. So tell me a little bit about that performance, the original performance you did. Um, well, it was an it was an original song that I wrote, um, and uh, I'd actually just written it a couple days before, and I really liked it. Uh, it meant a lot to me, and it was about someone who's really important in my life. And um, they weren't there to watch it, but uh, I think it was just really cool to be able to share that with everyone and um, that's basically all of my music just being able to share really important events and people in my life through song and then getting feedback and like comments from other people about it cliche as it may be, tell me about your writing process. What goes through your mind? You know, you've given me a little bit of background on why you write, so what goes into your writing? Um, uh, <laughs> well, I'm actually, most of my songs are, they come from like poems first, or like it'll be just like something from a conversation or something someone said, and I'll just it's usually like something pops in my head and I just have to like write it down on paper before I forget it and then it slowly becomes like a verse and then a chorus and then another verse and it just, I don't know, I've never really had a formal way of doing it. It's always a little bit different every time. But. What a disgrace, seems like your priorities are out of place. So tell me about that experience. When did you start? When did you realize, oh, I'm actually good at this. Maybe I should perform in front of people. Um, well, I've been playing instruments since I was about 9 or 10. I took piano lessons for about like a couple weeks. Um, didn't really like it that much, so I stopped. But uh, I'm pretty much self-taught with piano besides the lessons. And I'm self-taught in guitar and ukulele as well. And I didn't actually perform in front of anyone until I was about 13. I played at a coffee house and um, with my brother who had been doing music for a couple of years now and he still does music. Um, but yeah, he was the one that was kind of like, oh, you should like, you should come and try it out because you might really like it. And I'm so glad that he did because performing in front of people is like one of my most favorite things to do now. How many times do you get asked? Don't worry. I've actually never been asked to play one of my songs. Um, I've only been. I have asked you now twice. Okay, no, I know, but like, <laughs> I think I think they were talking about like like a specific song that like someone knows of mine. I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what you mean. So no, that moment Campbell, will come. I think Campbell's like my biggest fan. That will come. You not have a whole Jesus Christ fan. Yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get real with y'all. Heartbreak. You're too young to be heartbroken, okay? Don't get heartbroken. But a lot of my songs, I write when I'm sad. Mostly because I'm heartbroken. Um, what's up? Uh, why do you do Black Friday? 
because um, that song was about a breakup that happened on Black Friday. <laughs> and I mean, also Black Friday is just like kind of stupid. It shouldn't be a holiday. Yeah. And also it's way more violent than it needs to be. Exactly. Like they have those deals all year round. Um, this song is called Black Friday Sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Speak to me with the words to you what you afraid to say to my face when we were younger. But now we're grown and we're getting older and now I know that we were just never meant to be. I mean, if you believe in those kind of things. We broke up on Black Friday and the night before I was crying and I didn't know what to do Cause I was still in love with you Or at least with the idea of not feeling lonely But honestly, I still felt lonely Paid attention to the warning signs Like how the last time you said you loved me It felt like a goodbye And I can still feel the ghost of your hands Creeping up and down my spine It still feels alive It still, you still feel alive Back to the place where we first fell in love And then ignored me for once That's one way to get it done and over with For you could just stop And tell me the truth And say I'm no longer in love with you morning you send me the words that left my mind swarming with thoughts and how I could have done things differently but now I look back and I think maybe we were wrong from the beginning but I don't know what we were doing Creeping up and down my spine, it still feels alive, you still feel 